In this video, I'm going to show off the new fields integration in Signal. Here you can see I've got these signal tags, which are controlling these sliders. And I've already set up a linear field here, which can be used to control the weighting of this animation. As my field slides further to the left, you can see uh, less and less weight from the signal tags is being applied. And if I drag it all the way over here, you can see uh, the field has fully turned off the animation. Now, one thing to note about this is that the internal timer of each signal tag is still running. So as, as soon as I drag this over, those it will essentially reveal this animation. Now, what if we wanted the timing to change and, and be triggered based on when that field interacted with the slider? Uh, because right now what you're seeing is sometimes that motion looks smooth and other times as I as I come through, it might be jerky like that because the internal timer of the signal tag is based off your timeline, not the time of interaction. So in that case, what we want to do is use a trigger mode. So by default, we have off and then we have these different modes. Now let's talk about which the way they work. Essentially, think of these as triggering your animation and then either acting like a light switch to turn on the animation instantly or acting like a dimmer switch. Both of the ignore fall off modes are going to act like a light switch. Your animation turns on immediately as soon as any value over zero is uh, given from the field to the signal object these two modes on intersect and while intersecting will respect the weighting given from the field animation so they'll, they'll in some ways they'll act like off so first let's take a look at what that means so on intersect what that means is that as soon as i interact with this first clone here you can see as soon as that field gave a little bit of animation we the internal timer here started you can also see it's not fully animating that's because we are on intersect and not ignoring the fall off so it's still applying the fall off and then we can see as we move further oh here my animation reset there but let's take a look so i'm going to do that again so i'm i'm starting the animation it's still got a weighted fall off. And then I'm going to bump into that next one. You notice that our timings are different. That's because we're using a trigger mode. And the fall off is applied. So uh, this is can give you some pretty cool effects. And let's move on to the next one on intersect ignore fall off. This one will act like a light switch to turn on your animations. So as I interact with that signal object we're getting this full animation and then we're triggering the next one we get the full animation and then we're triggering the third now you'll notice as if i pull back here they're still animating now the reason for that is because we are ignoring the fall off and we're using on intersect if you want it to turn off you can use while intersecting so here i'll show let's just show while intersecting, ignore fall off real quick. Now, as soon as I intersect that, it's turning it on. And then as soon as I intersect the next one, it turns on. And then the third one. Now, as soon as I move over, we're going to actually get our positions are frozen. So you can see that the light switch mode, ignore fall off, uh, kind of gives you a little bit more control over the smoothness. If we turn to just wall intersecting, again, we're going to have that fall off applied to the animation. And the timer is going to turn on as, as soon as we get a value over zero. But then as we pull away, you can see they go back to, to zero. So some basic stuff. Let's take a look at how this gets set up. 
we can just delete the field here. I just wanted to go over something very basic. The default behavior in Cinema 4D is to add the field as a child, and you'll see that that gives us this. But in, in this case, uh, we don't really want our field to move along with the field or with the object that's being affected by the signal tag. So we've put in this option, um, or we've, we've created this default behavior for the signal tags, which is to um, add the field at the top of your hierarchy. And that's pretty much it for the fields integration in Signal. Have fun with it.